In this problem 15.2, we are going to deal with a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. So here it says that uh, the 12 megagram jump jet is capable of taking off vertically from that of ship. So this is only one direction, the y direction. If its jet exert a constant vertical force of 150 kN on the plane, determine its velocity and how high it goes in t equals to 6 seconds. So we are measure the s values and also the velocity values um, starting from rest so which means that the initial velocity will going to be equal to zero so neglect the loss of fuel during the flight so we are not worried about the changes of mass in order to solve this problem uh, we begin by uh, drawing as usual so first uh, you are going to have a jet so let's draw how the jet looks like here to get an idea uh, what are the forces dealing with that the jet is dealing with so this is the wing and this is the thrust maker okay so now we have um, we have known the the mass of the jet so this is 12 megagram basically 10 to the power of 3 kilograms um, and then this is the gravitational force acting on the rocket so here it says that um, the jet is experiencing 150 kilonewton force going up so this is 150 kilonewton 10 to the power of 3 um, and then the velocity is positive up. so once we know uh, we have collect all this information we can transfer it to the linear momentum equation so since going up is positive so we have this uh, the mass okay and then this is the vy the initial velocity plus uh, the total force okay the total force okay so this is f uh, y times t and then we have uh, the final velocity times mass Okay, so this is basically our starting part so since we know that the initial velocity is equals to zero so this is going to be zero so we don't have to worry about that so the the forces acting on the rocket is basically uh, the gravitational force and the force exerts by the thruster so the gravitational force is negative the thruster is positive so 150 times 10 to the power of 3 times the time so we have um, six seconds of operation uh, and then the force going down, so 12 times 10 to the power of 3 times 9.81 times the time, which is 6. And then uh, the mass of the jet itself, so 12, 10 to the power of 3. Um, and we don't know the final velocity. Okay, we want to know the final velocity. So once we have solved for all this, we can get the velocity. So V equals to... 16.14 meter per second so since we know um, the velocity and we want to calculate uh, the distance we first need to calculate the acceleration so uh, as usual we can use the equations that we learn uh, in chapter 12 so the final velocity equals to the first velocity the initial velocity plus the acceleration times t and now we know the initial velocity is equal to zero. And then now we know we have known the velocity and we know the time. So we need to measure the acceleration. So this is going to be 16.14. This is going to be zero. This is going to be A. And this is going to be six seconds. So we're going to get A. So A equals to 2.69. Okay, 2.69 meter per second per second since we have the acceleration we can now measure the distance so going up is positive as usual so s equals to the starting position plus the starting velocity times t plus half acceleration times t squared okay so we know that the initial position is equal to zero since this is going to be zero uh, it starts from rest so this is going to be equal to zero as well 
So we know um, the acceleration value, yes, and then the time taken, which is 6 seconds, yes. So we solve all this and we can get the distance. So S equals to 48.4 meters. So it goes up 48.4 meters, so which means that this kind of equation is very helpful if you are designing a drone uh, or uh, the vertical takeoff and landing type of vehicle.